Well, I was reading a Runner's World magazine, this was back in 2008, and they were talking about a running club that met at an Irish pub um, every week. And my brother owns an Irish pub, so I thought, and I like to run, so I thought it'd be a great um, opportunity. So we ended up uh, forming, talking with uh, Fleet Feet and forming this run club. And our first week, we had 66 people. So it was big right off the start and grew from there. We were every month and then we went to every other week and then finally every week. And we started to, uh, decided to have a race. We raised a lot of money and then decided we have this group, we can raise money and what, what can we do with this? So we uh, turned nonprofit back in 2011, I think, and um, now have two races a year. So we you know, raise quite a bit of money and are able to disperse it out to many different charities throughout the year. We have college students. Um, sometimes we have kids that come with their parents. We have, um, I think our oldest right now is 72 that comes out every week. So it, our average age is in the 30s. So it's a wide range of people. So our big um, event or fundraiser for the year is um, our Christmas time. We support kids or sponsor kids for the Wake County Holiday Cheer Program. So we just started this, uh, th this will be our third year. Our first year, we had a goal of sponsoring 10 k children and we, um, we spent $100 on each child. And we ended up doing, I believe, 15. Then the last year, we wanted to do 20 and we ended up doing 32. Um, this year, we're going to do 60. That's what we're setting out to do. And so if we, if we raise more money, then we'll sponsor more. So that's our really big event of the year. We also um, have one charity night a month and everyone brings in, all of our members bring in donations and, and people do. They might bring in um, in-kind donations or make a, a, a monetary donation, but it's amazing to see so many people that they don't have to, they're, they're doing it just because you know, they want to. We've always actually approached charities uh, and now this year we're starting to get so many charities approach us that we're going to have to start having an application process too. The most successful that we have are need-based charities that deal with children. Most people will um, donate more um, to those type of charities. So we, well, we also sponsor a school a month um, and buy, buy school supplies if they need. There are a couple of schools that actually requested clothing, so we'll buy clothing and whatever they need. But um, people are very generous when it has to do with children and their needs.